some people are wondering, does the real estate market here in the Valley seem to be hot right now? Or are we setting ourselves up for another market crash? Three on your side's Gary Harper looked into it and says it depends on who you talk to. Valley home prices have increased nearly 8% over the past year and they're expected to keep on going up. Now, what's the reason behind that? Well, one explanation is that there's just not enough homes for sale. Seriously, we had no words. We just like looked at each other and we're like, this is really happening. Celia Pena says she was shocked when she and her husband put their Chandler home up for sale and it sold in two days. That's a far cry, she says, from when they first tried selling their home a few years ago and finally gave up. In 30 days, we had no bites and so we pulled it off two years ago. And two years later, our house is pending. <laughs> But some worry that the real estate market may be a little too hot, pushing us into another housing bubble. It happened more than a decade ago when the demand for houses increased dramatically. When demand fell, the market crashed. That was 2008. We have been the cyclical economy and we became known uh, for this boom bust um, growth pattern. Mark Stapp is an economist and a real estate professor at Arizona State University. Currently, he says the housing market is healthy and in his opinion, consumers should not worry. People fear that we're, we're going to see another housing bubble like we did that began the last recession. I don't see any of that. There is none of those underlying fundamental characteristics that exist today. About a decade ago, Stapp says the real estate market shot up too much too fast, but currently he says there's been a slow and steady growth pattern over a long period of time, which is good. One market driver, he says, has been the development and growth of downtown Phoenix, like the expansion of Arizona State University and the University of Arizona. This is where employers now want to come look for employees because this is where employees want to live. Lifestyle, affordability, and uh, ease of doing business. However, there is a downside to our growth. He says there's a labor shortage coupled with an increase of material and construction costs, and that's driving up the prices. It makes building affordable units much more difficult. That's what's causing these prices to rise. It's not a bubble as a result of inventory. We're not overbuilding. I think the problem we have is we're not building enough. And because of that, we have an affordability issue that is emerging. Staff believes at some point prices should start to level out, but for now, housing prices keep going up. And for people like Celia, that's fine. I only think it's going to get better and the housing market around here is going to keep going up higher. By the way, if you're thinking of purchasing a home, remember the interest rate right now is hovering right around 4% for a 30-year fixed rate. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.